There we talk about like how we're strategizing, what we're doing moving forward. Check us out on Facebook. I'm undocumented. I've uh, been undocumented for over 27 years now. Um, I am one of the fortunate few who have DACA. Um, and for the past years, I've been helping people apply for DACA free of services, connecting them with attorneys and places where they can get funds to pay for this application. Uh, Calling panels where we try to assuage some of the concerns that parents have. About There's real fear in our community, and this panel was, in essence, trying to allay some of those fears so our students and our parents uh, could be assured that they just need to stay the course. We have that opportunity. Now they're taking DACA away from you. There is myths about what is actually happening, happening um, and people don't know uh, how to move forward. Um, and, and it's important to also have a dialogue with the community that's affected and let the community that's affected really tell you what's happening. Um, I, I was lucky to be able to talk to students here today and hopefully um, encourage other students who might feel vulnerable or, or, de or, or depressed in this in this state to continue to fight. And I think that's, that's really where the power of these spaces come, is to get our community engaged, feel empowered, and ultimately act. We're a country of immigrants. And we... It's important for our DACA students to understand is that, uh, first of all, October 5th is a very important date, so if they haven't renewed, they need to renew. Uh, but uh, it's also important for our DACA students to understand that they have a right uh, to be in school and that we don't ask for any immigration status and that we want them to continue to do well in school and we're going to do everything we can to get them information and get them opportunities to be connected with the right folks so that they can actually do the renewal and in some cases uh, pursue college scholarships and opportunities post uh, high school.